Hey guys, Alex Rapp here. Uh, we're going to be going over the 14 to 17 division in uh, the Apex Cessna comp that we have. Uh, sorry, a couple things off. This is going to be a points comp, uh, if, including one mulligan. Um, if you have a 100% clean run, you have not used your mulligan, it would count toward a bonus point. Uh, if you have any questions about that, uh, ask your coach. They're informed about it and they know uh, how all that works. Uh, the start and stop time will be handled for you. Uh, your start time, you're going to get a 3, 2, 1 start countdown um, in your start on this box. Uh, when you finish, you're going to be ringing a bell. As soon as you hit that bell, um, we're going to stop your time for you. So, no, nothing, no buzzers to hit for you today. Uh, nice and easy for you. So, uh, here we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, for our first obstacle in 14 to 17, we have our canes. Uh, we're going to have you guys traverse um, the straps using just the canes. Uh, you guys can start with one in, hang on, and then you guys are going to be going through the canes. So. That's not a good start, though. And just like other divisions, uh, the balance beam is going to be a start stop. Watch your head, John. And the balance beam is going to be a start stop. The second you disengage this cane uh, is when you're going to get your points for the first obstacle. So uh, keep in mind, um, second obstacle, so you don't want to fall in between. Uh, that would be your clear for the first obstacle, now you're making the second obstacle. Uh, it's our low rig. You can use the ring only um, and the holds only. No straps, no chains, no I beams, um, just the holds themselves. Traverse your way to the blue box at the very end. Um, hands and feet are on, but like I said, no straps. All right, guys, so after you guys finish your low rig, you guys are going to be traversing our log jam. Um, we have three log jams and a precision at the end. You're just going to kind of start at this little purple box, or pink box, sorry, and then uh, traverse through the steps, making your way to the Lachey Alley. Uh, as soon as you guys get to Lachey Alley, uh, you guys are going to be making uh, one, two Lachey's, and then traversing directly to the Devil Steps. Um, so, you guys are going to go from here, to here, directly to the devil steps. From here, you guys are going to be going down, up, and then traversing to our spinny gut here. Second you do, you're going to be this way to the box. So, um, if you have any questions about that, just let me know tomorrow. Uh, you can, you must transfer from that lache bar to the devil steps. When you get to the devil steps and you're on your way up, you can traverse to the spinny bar at any point. You don't have to get to the top of the devil steps. If you want to do it from the second step, that's okay. Third step to the top, it's your choice. But you must make it to the box. And you get your point. Next up, got our gray roller. Um, same as last time. You're gonna have to traverse the gray roller, make it to the box, go past the other side of the box, then you get your point. Um, boom, that'd be your clear. Next up, you're going to the beam. You can just walk over. You're gonna start on the blue pad. Recommend facing the other way. Traverse the I-beam, push off the I-beam, clear the pad, just like last time. Uh, make your way over to our black padded box. Uh, after you guys finish the I-beam, you guys are gonna traverse your way over to the black padded box and you are UFO slider. Um, it's changed a little bit since the last time that you guys saw it. So this time you're gonna use the bombs, transfer to the UFO, 
and you must make it to the purple box at the very end of the line. Um, it's your choice how you want to get there. If you want to swing on the UFO and go strictly to the box, that's your call. Uh, Caleb would say risk it for the biscuit. So, it's your choice. I would recommend sliding down the UFO, pitching the trapeze, and then making a nice little cliche into the box. Very close, but if you try and go from the UFO, it's gonna be rough. So, must land inside the box. It's kinda little, but you guys can do it. Um, next up, we've got our twisty stones, using the same blue box as the I-beam, converse over to the booster ball, and then we have our stones. Uh, no precisions in between. And this is gonna be a feet only obstacle. You will get your point when you make it to this padded box. Uh, next, we've changed out our small chucks for the bigger chucks. Um, again, you're gonna be landing on the padded balance beam. You will not get your point until you touch the black balance beam next to it. So even though I just stuck it, now I get my point, okay? That's gonna keep you guys from going off that side and touching the ground or anything else. So you will not get your point until you touch the black beam. Next up we have our balance steps. So diverse your way across the balance beams. You need to get to the steps. You haven't seen the other divisions yet. They are kind of like the NML finale step from last year. They wobble and twist and, and uh, they move a lot. So, uh, traverse across the steps, make your way to the gray mat, and then you get your point for the steps. So, uh, next, we have our canvas board. So, uh, you guys are going to be starting with a pink tape, trying to go all the way up the canvas board using as many or as few of the holes as you want, but you must have two hands on the top hold, then you can drop. Uh, so you, you get your clear, and that's it for that obstacle. Next up, we have our big rig. With the big rig, you are gonna walk over start at the gray tape. You're gonna jump out, grab your salmon ladder, Transfer, turn around on the bar, do another transfer, and then you're gonna go to the flying squirrel, to the bridge, second bridge, dismount right here. As soon as you dismount here, you're gonna get your point for the rig. Uh, next, we have our work wall. Uh, all 14, 17s are gonna do our big wall, 14 and a half. Uh, so I'm just going to get all my heavy bolts now. The uh, balance beam is obviously in the way, as well as this padded balance beam. Um, so there's a couple things during the run up to think about um, on top of already just doing the wall. So have that in mind and uh, top out the wall. The second you top out, you're going to get your point for the work wall. Climb down the steps. Grab your rope, and this is going to be your last obstacle. You're going to traverse all the way up the rope. There's a bell at the top. Ring the bell. We're going to stop your time, and your run's over. And that's it. So, uh, can't wait to see everybody. Hope you guys have fun, and uh, looking forward to seeing you.